Welcome to RSK solution. In this video, we are going to explain you how you can make complete bathroom with PPR fittings. First, you need to check the plane. As you can see, we have a plane. We have a two toilets together, one with shower tray and one with bathtub. First, you need to check the plane, how it's going to be the measurement, the places where you need to install the things. You need to check where there's going to be toilet, sink and bathtub. First, you need to check the FFL, mean finish floor level. Then you need to make the mask. Here is going to be flashing. And here we are going to install the water heater and also here is going to be a bathtub and also this side we have a shower mixer we have hand shower here and here is going to be concealed mixer and on the top we're going to have a head shower here is going to be a sink first we are going to make cuttings you need to make the hole like this so the wall plate should fix easily here is going to be a shower this is the hand shower coming down in the middle and here is going to be a conceal mixer and here also going to be a head shower and here is going to be a sink while cutting make sure all the cuttings are good so like this is going to be easier to work if you are going to work with PPR you need to hold it the elbow like this and pipe on one side hold it for a six seconds seven seconds depending on the PPR machine that you are going to use right now I'm going to use it nearly six seconds connect it like this and hold it for some seconds so it's become cold and how the PPR is working and then we need to cut some of the pieces as you can see we cut some of the pieces some elbows the pieces that we are going to use them you need to cut all the pieces you need to check for the hand shower the mixer the sink and then you can see this is the main drop we make it from 25 to 20 we use reducer on the right side we make it the cold water on the left side we are going to make it the hot water and whenever you make the fittings you need to use the clips here is going to be a mixer for bathtub we need to make them wall plates for now and when you make them make them straight so the face should be good you can check it from the side here is going to be a sink so this is the wall plate for the sink and also hold it on the place and this is going to be a hot water on the left side and same way when you make the welding put it on the place and hold it for some seconds so it's become cold and also make sure the face is straight in same way you need to cut all the pieces you need to connect them one by one it's better if you connect one side first like hot water first then become the cold water like this is not going to be mixed up most of the places when you make hot and cold together you're going to mix up and at the end you're going to have a trouble whenever you work make sure the hot and cold water never got mixed as you can see the floor work is ready we, we make the clips and we make this pipe up at the head shower also the ready and make also the clips so it stay on the position it's never the pipe should not move now we are going to install the conceal mixer you can see we have conceal mixer most of the conceal mixer have a same like that it's going to be have a four points you need to check which is going to be hard cold up and down okay after checking this to make a connection between the conceal mixer and ppr we are going to use one female adapter and then we are going to use a nipple to make a connection between the shower so as you can see it's going to be like that make sure the thread tape is good then you need to put it on the place tie them slowly slowly you need to tie them all of them first you need to tie them with the hands then you need to use them some of the fittings to tie them very good make sure they are very good so there should be no leakage you need to see which side is up which side is down after this like you know we are going to use a papa girl to tie them good so you need to check which side is up which side is down and you need to mark them like that you need to put it on the place so check they are coming good or not so far now we are going to use them easy bends so depending on your position use the fitting that is coming good you need to make them like that one by one and make sure all the fittings coming good so they should not be left and right they should be straight same way we are going to make all of the four hold it on the place let them to be cold so now you can see all of four are ready make sure they are coming good now we are going to install them one by one first we are going to use the with the head shower we need to connect it and then we're going to hold it so it's become cold you need to check the level as well it should not be outside from the wall you need to check the center make sure the shower mixer is on the same place where you want it then we are going to connect the left side pipe 
The other connections are ready. Now we are going to connect with the hand shower. You need to mark it, the height, how much you want it. Then we are going to cut the PPR pipe. And then we are going to connect the wall plate for the hand shower. Same way you need to connect the pole plate and hold it for a while so it become cold. And make sure it is straight. This console mixer is ready. You can install it same way if you have a same console mixer. But most of the time the console mixer are not the same. So the installation is going to be different. But make sure all the installation is good. You also have a paper with that. You need to check the description how it's going to be installation. Because if the console mixer is not ready, then you need to check it after the tires and it's not possible to fix it. So make sure before you make installation, you need to know how it's going to be installed. So now we are going to install the flashing. You can see we have a console flashing. For that the wall is already cut, you, we need to install here. So this also comes with the fitting, you need to check which fitting are going to install them. Now we are going to connect this fitting with the wall plate and also this one have a lot of fittings. We connect the wall plate here on the back side, on the top and also you can see the other flashing here as well. You can make the elbow if you have the same flashing like that from the side you need to pass the pipe. Now you can see the flashing is on this place, the pipe is passing from the side, you need to make the holes and you need to make the screws like that and tie them very good check the level also as well this is the drain we already prepared them this is the pi 50 for the shower and the pi 40 drain we are going to use for the flashing after this you need to plaster the wall plates if you have this kind of metal plate they are very useful you can make it level and also the face is going to be straight when you install them like that and also make sure you make a good plaster so the wall plate never going to be moved this is very important for the work now you can see they are plaster, this is the shower mixer, wall plate, sink, in drain, this is the flashing. Then we are going to make the pressure test, it's very important when you work with PPR or any plumbing, you make sure you make a pressure test. We are going to use the 10 bar pressure for that. This is another example, you can see head shower, concealed mixer, sink, and drain, pi 40 and next to it we have a pi 50 for the shower drain. And also when you're doing a pressure test, make sure there's no leakage, everything make sure is good. So this is another example, make sure also the heart is always connected with the hot water and the cold is always connected with the cold water. So make sure there's no mix up. And this is the pipe of the drain of the toilet. You can see it's come under the flashing in the middle of the flashing. And from the shaft, it look like that. You need to connect all the drains together for the big pipe of 110. This is the big shaft. And make sure all the concealed mixer, concealed flashings, they are plastered good. And this is also another flashing. And they look like that after the plaster. Like this is very important. And now you can see how they are look like when the tiles are ready. This is the concealed mixer. And the head shower. And flashing. This is the bathtub. The drain pipe. And the sink. And the mirror light. And here also we're going to have another flashing as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.